Yeah, he's finna get us arrested. Ooh. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. here at North Park is she making a commercial uh, I'm gonna be the star in it it's just about the importance of human interaction a lot of days today we don't talk as much as we should and it's killing us faster race show that if you talk if you're more you're three times more likely to die if you don't talk to people so I'm making of importance a commercial for the importance of human interaction you know we all need each other whether we like it or not and y'all know I don't like people so this I'm perfect for this so, and then, so Brandon's gonna get the above angle. We're about to see what's happening. So when you come in, mm -hmm. you're gonna go through this door. That door? Yep, and then you're gonna walk down the aisle, and then the camera's gonna catch you right there. Gotcha. Bet, bet, bet. Okay, she in position. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, so we just wrapped up shooting. It was a success. It was a success. I'm hot as hell. We My hot back as hell. But Her back hurting. Brandon, how you doing over there? Bro. <laughs> He's so shy. And now we finna get Chick-fil-A. Oh, oh. hmm. I'm finna uh, snatch old dude in the corner. Ah, wait. Yank! Look at me. Y'all know I love my, my Popeyes, but uh... And now I am back on campus. It's Johnny. <laughs> so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all the podcast. It's like the dust. Whatever, y'all just gonna be chewing to the 14th and final episode Get out. of an ambiguously named podcast. Season with one. Season one. Season one. Yeah, it's season one. me. It's Johnny. I didn't know it was my I'm Johnny. Because everybody was just. No, like, you, we doing it. Let it focus on you. It's too much <laughs> now. It's you already know what time it is, it's your boy Daryl, you already know mine. You? Are then, you in the screen? Did not. you look at it? I was um was um Tyler, aka the Awkward Joker. Black Boy, aka <laughs> Single Bell Ass Rose. This is so f good out. Yeah, yeah. You already yeah. know who it is. It's a will underscore 100 on all social media platforms. Go ahead. Get him the beat. I also do photography, so hit me up. And I, this is, this is new. Stop moving so much. You're not going to focus. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. It's not focusing on you because you keep on moving. I'm not even moving. Look, I'm. Okay, what's up? Back up a little bit. It's trying. There you go. There it goes. All right. That was good. I drank a drink and I'm in my demise. Poking left me and my homie floating in the sky. Jungle vines and my tea got a brother. So we have reached a momentous point in our creative careers regarding this podcast. We have done 14 technically not consecutive but consecutive weeks not of really. content so we have reached a bridge in our journey but before we get into that and the rest of our finale you funny i gotta ask y'all are your weeks been any new music what's up what's happening what's good what's good hey, don't you dare
take five? No. I'm not talking about it. And I'm you dare take five minutes to talk. And I'm not talking about chopped and screwed music either. No, okay, just okay. Go. Okay. Shout out everything from the boot and beating your ass. Say, <laughs> hey, it's an old record from like 20, 2012 called The Proven Theory by a rapper named Jonas. Uh, yeah, Jonas, he's uh, from New York. He's underground, but that's a good tape. I just want to get promotion to a good to a good tape. Feel that? The game actually recently dropped an album. I started listening what? to it. Yeah, how recently? Rap. Like, like, I think it dropped Friday. Like for real, he yeah. like for real, he got all the pregnant women in the nearby area to come and be and on the album, album, cover. album cover. Yeah, yeah, born to rap. I started listening to it today. It's actually pretty nice. I'm I'm, I'm messing with it. I need to finish it out. And then, um, Trippy yeah, Reds. Your library, like right now. He's out of here right now. He really does. Um, Trippy Reds, a love letter to you for. I have not listened to it, but I've heard that it's actually really good. I saw people putting it on their album of the year list. Oh, so really? I'm kind of like, what did Trippy do? Because the last one I listened to was okay. Like, not not ex exclamation point, point, but the one before that, it was good. I just found out that uh, Fabulous dropped Summertime Shootout 3 on the tree. Ooh. Okay, look, we got some interesting interesting drops this week. In the new world of uh, R&B. Blake Warrior has a new album called Table for Two. You should go check it out. It's really lit. Um, also, I want to shout out um, Snow Allegra for the feels. You know, that album is lit. But yeah, and, big. Uh, oh, my <laughs> My man is clearly still talking. <laughs> sometimes I just, sometimes I don't mean to tell her. It, it happens. This finale is off to a good start. Well, I'm not <laughs> Blake Warrior, Table for Two, listen to that. Shout out to Snow Allegra, I love her. And um, I listen to Chasing Summer by Inglewood, Inglewood sir. Just lit. Go also, on. big shout out to our boy Excalibur. You know. Yeah, shout course, out to him. Of course. Right here live in the studio. You did a proper shout out. Oh, this had to be. We cut off our previous conversations many times throughout this podcast. And because it is the finale, I feel it's only right that we circle back and come back around to one of the topics that started it all. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, the Lord's Chicken. That's so funny because I literally had Chick-fil-A today. Ooh, controversial. Well, okay, you know what? Judging it was free food. Okay, uh, was we're not gonna do free. Okay, okay. According to an article published November 18th, Chick Fil A will no longer donate to any anti-LGBTQ organizations. Look at this. That. This article states that the fast food chain announced Monday that the be Look at that beginning next yeah. year it will only donate to a certain group of charities. That list no longer includes the Salvation Army and the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Both organizations have taken controversial stances on homosexuality and same-sex marriage. <laughs> I'm sipping my cool list. Look hey. at that. <laughs> but people wanted to get on oh, me talking about they're not gonna do anything by preparing like you know <laughs> not even a chicken sandwich. Well, look at it. Look, look what at happened? It. Look at the material. <laughs> look at the material. <laughs> hey, it's gonna the face they bottom line. They gonna <laughs> make changes. Change happened. Bottom line. The question is. Is this progress? Is How progress? Do, we, do yes. we see this happening for other organizations and companies that support things that are less than moral? Yes. Once a it all have big. Yeah, but I, I I like the fact that they're not doing it anymore. Yeah, I can eat there without feeling with, guilty. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> like, like I was without, eating here regardless. Y'all was really finna come at me for them chicken nuggets. Look, well, just eat there regardless. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna eat there regardless, but I don't have to feel guilty about it. <laughs> like, I have gone years without eating chicken nuggets. You went years without the Lord's chicken Look, sandwich. I you have a lot with, with the Chick Fil A. <laughs> This year, you got a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember we went. To, we went to yeah. Chick-fil-A. You got a salad yeah. one time. And no, and he had a milkshake because they accidentally gave us That's a milkshake. No, we were at the Chick-fil-A. And our last story of the day: Biden says he doesn't need Obama's endorsement. <laughs> I believe him. Okay, but mm. okay, but <laughs> I don't know. Know. they want to poison us. What, what exactly is a socialist? I 
I hope you already explained it. Yeah, you, you let, I'm gonna explain let you explain it because yeah. I don't think I would explain it. Yeah, because I, 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 I just got followed by Black Socialists of America. <laughs> so a socialist is a They know. A socialist is like, you know, a communist. They believe in communists. A socialist is someone who believes in, like, socialist. socialists. It's like, it's basically in opposition of capitalism. Yeah, yeah. and then also, it, it kind of provides a stable, like, like it but makes you stable. But the state controls everything, though. That's yeah. the only downside. Yeah. Yeah, the state controls everything. It's like it's like a balance. Yeah. But then like and then also the Bernie Sanders said like, you know, you can like lead your job.